Hi and welcome back to Bob's Little Sports Shop. I'm Ethan. Today we're going to be testing some body armor. This is Guard Dog, Guard Dog um, Concealable Body Armor. It's supposed to be 3A rated, level 3A, which will stop up to a 44 Magnum. Uh, it's a soft body armor, it's got some play to it. Uh, front and back panels are included. Um, so we're going to shoot it with a bunch of different calibers today just to see what it will actually stop. Uh, we have our mannequin down there, we're going to call him Buddy, uh, and we have, he's got the, the vest, this vest here underneath, underneath of his shirt, and then we throw a t-shirt on him. Um, but we're going to shoot him, we're about 7 yards right now, we're going to start with 22. We're going to fire 3 different types of 22, just to see. Um, typically with body armor, to penetrate it you need speed. So you need a smaller bullet, and the faster it is, the more likely it is to punch through. So I'm pretty sure this is going to stop 22, but we're going to do it just to test it anyhow. The first one we're going to start off with is a CCI Quiet. This is 710 feet per second. So this doesn't actually even break the sound barrier, so it's not real loud. So we're going to do that, and that's a 40 grain. And then we have Federal American Eagle. This is the uh, suppressor round. It's a 45 grain bullet that's traveling at 970 feet per second. And lastly, we have some Aguila Super Extra. It's a high velocity popper plated, and it is 1,235 feet per second. So we're gonna put our eyes and ears on. <clears throat> we're gonna shoot probably the top left-hand side uh, of the, the torso there. We're gonna put our eyes and ears on and uh, fire a couple rounds. <laughs> All right, so that was our first round in. We're going to take a walk up there and see, uh, see what it did, if I even hit it, hit the right spot. So it did, it did go into the plate here. There's our entrance wound. And now we can just, I'll just put my hand back here, we'll see. Yep, so it did stop it. It did not, let's actually see if we can pull his shirt up. Yep, there's the round right there. Nice chunk of lead sticking out of it. So it definitely stopped the quiet. It's pretty cool. Alright, so we'll go back and we'll fire another one, a little bit higher velocity. So the next one's a little bit heavier of a bullet, 45 grain. It's going to be traveling a little bit faster, but it's a heavier bullet, so we'll see what happens here. This is a solid copper round nose bullet. louder. So this one went through the t-shirt obviously. Ooh. And that one actually went into the armor. Let's see. Let me get my hand down here in the back. Okay, there's a pretty good bulge there, but it did stop it. So I can actually oh, you can feel it right, you can feel it right here. So it went in and then fragmented over to the left. Yep, but it did stop it. It didn't go through. Definitely an, in, an indentation there. Cool. And now we're going to shoot a high velocity traveling at 1,235 feet per second. Um, so it's going to be cruising pretty good. There's our hole right there. Lift this up. Pretty distinct hole. And reaching down. It did not go through. It bulged it worse than the other one did. But I could feel the round. Where's that? I think the round's right in this area here. It's a pretty good bulge, but it didn't go through. Alright, so that's what we're going to do for 22s. Now we're going to move up to uh, 380, so we'll try 380. The gun we're going to use for the 380 is going to be a Glock 42, Glock subcompact, and for ammunition, we have some Remington 380 uh, 
brass jacketed hollow points. So this is a 102 grain bullet and it's hollow point. I got a pretty good size hole there. Went in and stopped, I believe. Yep, stopped it. You can actually see the bullet right in there if you see the casing in there. You can see where it actually opened up. Fragmented. Yeah, you can actually, and there's a little bit of a bulge here off the edge. That's where it kind of went in, expanded, and then splintered over. But it didn't, there's nothing, there's nothing leaving the, the carrier itself, the plate. Cool. All right, let's try nine millimeter. So for nine millimeter, we're gonna actually try two different ones. The first gun we're gonna use is six hour M17. It's a 320, it's the gun that the US military is now using. Um, and for ammunition, we're gonna use a SAR 124 grain full metal jacket, just ball ammo. Good old chunk of lead, 124 grains. All right, 124 grain, nine millimeter. This is our entrance right here. Lift this guy up. It's actually a smaller hole than the 380 because the 380 expanded. Reaching up in. Yep. Did not go through the back of this. When we're all done, we'll pull this carrier off him and show you what it looks like inside. But it feels, there's a giant bulge there. So that one would have hurt a lot, but didn't, didn't go through. Didn't damage his plastic exterior. So that was the first one. The next one we're going to do is out of actually my Hellcat 380. Um, it's a hundred and hundred and fifteen grain Fort Scott munitions. Actually, let me just double check. Yeah, it's hundred and fifteen grain Fort Scott munitions. Uh, tumble upon impact. So it's a hundred percent copper bullet that's designed to tumble upon impact. So we should have a little bit of difference between the lead, which is soft and is designed to just kind of disintegrate, while the the copper bullet is designed to actually penetrate, actually could over penetrate. So we'll see what that does. And that's being fired out of the Springfield Hellcat. All right, so here's our entrance wound right here in the shirt. There it is. Oop. Humble upon impact, did not go through. You can actually feel the bullet right here. Actually, you might be able to bring it to the hole. There's the bullet right there, there's a chunk of lead. We can cut, we'll cut this, we'll cut this open when we're done and pull everything out of it. But that's the Fort Scott munitions right there. So it went in, it's got a huge wound, I mean a huge divot here. You can see how deep that is. But didn't go through. Definitely would have probably Broke a couple ribs and bruised the living daylights out of them, but cool. All right, so that was two different nine millimeters. So far, so good. Uh, let's move up to, let's try 38 special. So for the 38, I'm gonna use this Smith & Wesson 586. Three inch this is a performance arm. And for the round, since ammunition is so scarce, I have one bullet like Barney Fife somewhere. And I have one round of Winchester. It's like silver tip jacketed hollow point. I'm not sure what grain it is. Probably 158 grain, but we'll see.
that's this guy right here. Ah, that's a big hole. Chunk of lead, you can see the back of it right there. So, doubt it went through. Nope, did not go through. Very cool. Let's try a 40. So for the 40, we have an HEK USP 40. And for the ammo, we're going to use a Seller and Bellet. It's a 180 grain full metal jacket. Brown nose. Okay. That one bulged pretty good. Or moved the whole vest. There's our entrance wound here. Yeah. Let's see. Wow. Did not go through, but it created such a bulge. You can see how much the vest is, is like twisted. And that's just because of the bulge created from the 40. But didn't didn't go through. No hole. He's still intact. Well, this thing's full of lead now. Alright. So the 40 had stopped. So this is designed to stop up to a 44 mag. So let's shoot a 44 mag. For the 44 mag, I have a Smith & Wesson model 629 and a 4 inch barrel. And for the ammo, we're going to be shooting Remington 180 grain semi jacketed hollow points. Well, before we check it, let's take into consideration that it knocked the cardboard backer down and moved the chair that he's sitting on. It's a lot of force. So here's our hole right here. And, sir, holy cow, it stopped it, didn't go through. Some serious bulge. So the round is somewhere in this mess. Actually, it might be right here now. But definitely didn't go through it. So it will stop a 44 mag. I'm actually surprised. Okay, cool. Nice big hole. Alright, so now we're going to. I'm um, out of guns that everything stopped it. So now we're all gonna go. I'm gonna go grab a 5.7. 5.7 is tiny and fast. So we'll see. I'll be right back. I'll be right back with 5.7. We're going to be shooting out of a shooting out of a Ruger 5.7. It's a 40 grain bullet that is screaming fast. All right, so let's see if it'll stop the 5.7. So many holes in here, I'm not sure which one it is. I think it's this one. Yeah, it's that one. Let's see. But exit. Wow. 
Nope, no exit. Did not go through. I'm very surprised. Yep. In, but no exit. Okay, now we have to try something else. We'll try a 9mm coming out of a 12 and a half inch barrel, so a little faster than your handguns. For that, we're going to use this Dark Storm Industries. This is a non NFA. It's a not classified as a firearm, it's or not classified as a rifle or a pistol. Uh, we got the EOTech on here as well as the magnifier, which we don't need for this distance. But and this time I'm going to do two rounds, and I'll do just two rounds of the 124 grain. This one and this one, these two. Wow. Nothing. No holes through. Hmm. That's surprising. Alright, so we gotta find something else. So it will definitely stop at 44. All the way down, you know, stop at 5.7. Um, I think I'm gonna do grab a, probably a shotgun. I'll hit him with a shotgun, so that's us. Be right back. Alright, so as I said we we're gonna do a shotgun, we're not. Uh, we're gonna actually do a rifle. So this is a Dark Storm Ministries Variant 1, another non NFA firearm. Uh, we're going to try a couple different rounds. Uh, the first one I'm just going to do is just regular 223. This is a 55 grain full metal jacket. Just a chunk of lead, screaming. Do this. I don't have sight, so let's see. Straight through. <clears throat> so our entrance was, I think, this one. Whoops. Entrance was that one there, I believe. And here's our exit. You can look right at the back here. Right through them. Granted, this is armor was not designed for rifles, but it doesn't hurt to try it. So that went right through. Right into the back of our chair. Actually went through the chair. Yep, it went through the chair. And it went through the piece of cardboard and into the trap. So that was full metal jacket 223. So basically, this was going to stop just about almost every handgun round that we threw at it. It did stop every handgun round we threw at it, but it did not stop 223. And we'll try it with, uh, we know the 223 is going to go right through it, so let's try this here. This is actually relatively new by Hornady. This is their very popular critical defense ammo, but in a rifle form. So this is 223. Uh, it's a 55 grain FTX bullet. It's got that little red polymer tip in it, which is designed to act like a hollow point, but it's not classified as a hollow point. It's great for uh, restricted states. So we're gonna try one of these guys, see what this does. So the critical defense is actually designed to not to over penetrate, it's designed to open up and stop. So for home defense type of situation, you don't want it to be going through nine walls. Um, so this one actually did not leave the back of the target. There's a big bulge here though, so I think it might have went through them. But we'll, uh, we'll check here. It's hard to tell. Actually, we could probably just see if you'd feel the back here. Ow. Yep. Ouch. It went right through them. I'm not sure where the entrance is. We'll see it when we take them all apart here. But it definitely went through the back, through the panel in the front, through the body, exited the back. It feels like the bullet, it's hard to tell, but it feels like the bullet's sticking out here or it's just plastic. But it didn't 
didn't leave, didn't puncture the shirt on the back side. Okay, so a two two three goes right through him. The critical duty uh, or critical defense two two three went through him essentially. I mean, that's a bad day, very bad. But cool. Uh, we might as well fire a five five six while we're at it. Got him out here. So we're going to shoot a five five six green tip. Uh, I think it's green tip. Yeah, 62 grain green tip. Okay, 62 grain, 5.56. Five, We're going to go right to the back because I'm sure it went through and it did. So, and went through. This was there. This was our exit here. So pretty big, pretty big rip. Went into the chair there and through the cardboard. But we weren't expecting the cardboard to stop it, were we? Cool. All right, so we're gonna take him, we're gonna bring him back to the table here. We'll take him all apart and we'll cut open the armor and see what, see what it looks like inside. All right, so we got him, we got Buddy on the table here. Um, looks like he had a bad day. He's got a lot of holes in him. But we're gonna, we'll just pull his shirt up and we'll see what, See what we got going on here. As far as the this plate goes, it's all I mean it's got lumps all over it. We're just gonna try to cut this guy. Cut this. Take the plate right out. So there's our, that's our 556 that came through. This is actually the 40 right here. That 40 really would have hurt. And let's cut this thing open too. actually see a couple different bullets here that I think is the 44 mag looks yeah that's a 44 mag or maybe this one is no this is the 357 or the 38 special this is the 44 mag so I mean that one they mushroomed out pretty good that would have been pretty painful but those didn't didn't enter the end of the body here Got another jacket here. That's just a I'm not sure what I don't even know what it, what calibers these are now because they're all smashed. There's another one. This is actually just all woven together pieces here. See if we can find any more bullets in it. A little piece of padding just to you know help it hurt less. We had a 22 that was sticking out. That must have felt. That must have fallen out. Oh, here's a chunk. Not sure which caliber that is. I'd have to measure them to see which ones they are. Oh, I got another one here. That's a nine millimeter. Full metal jacket. Just mushrooms right out. I know. Oh, there's one more. That might be the that might be the five seven. It's pretty small on the back. That might be the five seven. But yeah, so that's our guard dog armor there on in the front side. It did pretty good. So one of the 223s made it through about 
Well, made it through the whole front, the whole back, and then splintered about halfway through the carrier in the back. So there's the, there's the fragment. So it didn't leave, but it was, oh, another piece fell out. But it made it, it made it pretty much halfway through. So we had a green tip went straight through. I mean, that's the green tip there, I believe. I mean, no question about it, right through it. Then we had the 223, which punched right through. And then this little fragment here, I believe, is that critical duty. That critical, or defense, the critical defense in uh, 223. So it didn't, didn't go all the way through, but stopped in the back plate. Cool. So that's our guard dog concealable body armor. Uh, it retails for about $149 on their website. Uh, we do actually have some in store that we sell. Um, and we wanted to just test it to see what it would do. Uh, if you want to see anything else or any other different calibers or any other different armor or you want us to shoot, you know, bowling pins or anything like that, let us know in the comments section and we'll uh, take those ideas and put them into use. Um, I did want to mention before I wrap this up though, the back of the back of Buddy's back here. It's plastic, obviously, it's burnt. But that's the exit. And then I'll flip them over and we'll, do, we'll show you the we'll show you the entrance here. Of the rounds that did go through. That one there. Nice clean entry. That one. And that one hurt a lot. It's a pretty uh Pretty big hole. But yeah, Buddy survived pretty well with the handgun calibers, not so much the rifle, but wasn't designed to stop rifle. So, but yeah, so if you want to see anything else different, uh, let us know in the comment section, like the video, share it, um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do all kinds of stuff from reviews to uh, archery setups to shooting mannequins. Thanks.